I don't know. Right. Just a quick update and never have been there since the last time you've seen. Right, so. Start over here, really, since this is the first changes. This is a wee zombie huh? villager I call and transform. So far, just unlock all these trades. I'm going to start making some farms to get the materials to sell to them, like the wheat, potatoes, and carrots, pumpkins, and whatever. So I'm start making emeralds off them. Right, this is the next thing. And through this door here, where the beds were, is what I call a solar pulser. It's basically, oh, I'll have to go upstairs and show you. Because <laughs> the start of it is on the top of the surface. The word solar should be a hint though. So we have two daylight sensors. One is solar and one's lunar. Well, that's how I'm pref preferring to them. <laughs> Um. Well, for some reason it still works. Anyway, so we've got two daylight sensors and one solar, one lunar. So they, when it's either midnight or midday, they one of them will lose power altogether. So basically either midnight or midday, one of these, at midday, this one will lose power, it will pull its redstone block up, because it's straight above the piston, so the piston gets unpowered at midday, pulls the redstone block up, and that has no power here then, that lets that drop down, and when it becomes just after midday, when it gets powered again, it pushes this back down, which powers that, powers a repeater, puts power through this block, which is actually there at the time, and sends a, which sends a pulse down here because when it gets powered there, it pushes the piston back up. Same for this, but at midnight, same thing happens. So at midnight, midday, every day, I get a pulse of power through here, and at the moment, it's only powering this. It's basically a pumpkin farm. Well, I can't show you that, but. Pumpkin stops here. Pumpkin grows here in front of the pistons. And every midnight of the day, any that's grown gets pushed into this wee pit here. It's in the pit right there. And that all goes downstairs. So, this is basically a solar power plant. I make the design based on the recipe. There's wooden planks here on the ground. For the middle, there's quartz, and on the top is going to be glass. I just thought I'd make it there, look like a daylight sensor recipe, since it's a solar power plant, and that will be going soon. Right, come down here. So this is basically where the Alchemy station is, and I've changed out these blocks to be the pillar quartz blocks. So we'll now this wee stripe going around the middle of the room. It's not much, but it gives it a little bit of feature. And a little detail. Um, that's not changed. Uh, and this is where all it comes down. So that there is the pumpkin stalk, and that's the dirt that it grows into. You can see there, they get pushed down into this water stream, which then pushes it into that corner where there's a hopper, which feeds it into this chest. So I can basically just come down every midnight, every after mid midnight every day or whatever, whenever I'm walking by I can come in and check the chest, any pumpkins I get, take them through and put them in storage. That's a not too bad wee system. And it's not exactly overpowering because you're not getting a lot, there's only Four, eight spots for pumpkins to grow, and they don't always grow. And it's only two harvests a day, so at the most you're going to get 16 pumpkins for Minecraft day. So 16 pumpkins every 20 minutes is not exactly an overpowering, strong pumpkin farm. 
you know what I mean? You're not going to get a lot of pumpkins with it. It's just a convenience sake thing, and I've forgot to put some stone brick here. Uh, so, aye. I'm not too worried about that. It's just basically a convenience stay sake thing of just making pumpkins automatically. Right, so the next thing I've added since last time is this. And you can see I've started working the next one here. <sighs> so, like I said last time, I found another fortress and I got some nether wart and some soul sand. And it's not quite ready to harvest, but for the purposes of the video, I'll just let it show you. But this glass here stop the nether wart from flying over because it. At first it was doing that and landing here, so I just put up some glass, and since it's a red thing, I put red glass. Just, why not? So, and it's all designed so you can't fall in. The only place you can possibly fall in is here. If you fall in here, you can just jump back to it. Anyway, hit a button. It flushes all the nether work down here. There won't be nearly, there won't be a, a, quite a big harvest at this because it wasn't all fully mature, but it does demonstrate what's going on. Just realised there's a wee spot here that we fall into, but we don't think they've done it yet. Right, so once it's finished, hit the button, all the water goes away, and then Right. So, we just take 64 and what out. It actually all goes in the It's not it's a bad, bad hole. So, from here, you can just walk from side to side, and you'll never fall down there because you can't actually walk forward here. Because this is a under slab, so that's one and a half blocks of height there, you cannot get in. And to get under the bridges, you just go from the opposite bridge. So you can just walk back and forward while it never worked without any worry. It's a quick wee thing just to let you quickly plant nether wart without having to walk over the soul sand which is annoyingly slow every time you walk in it. The only problem so far is you might be able to fall down there. So I'm going to have to get some railings up there as well. Like a block here. Or something just to stop you from being able to walk off. Because I've got no way to get back up from there. <laughs> and I said I've made room here. So I can make a second one. But I don't know if I'm going to use nether wart or maybe something like wheat. Potatoes or carrots. You can also just make it so that powers both of them. In fact, you wouldn't really have much of a choice because they're so close together. But I can always just shift that over one and put a wall in between them and that'll stop it from interfering with each other. Yeah, so it's just a basic semi automatic farm. Like I said, it's no that bad because you have to wait for it to grow first. Uh, all it's doing is taking out the time of harvesting, it's not taking out its planting time. But you still have to wait a wee bit for the water to brush everything down this way. So it's just a basic farm, it's not se it's not automatic, but it does save a little bit of time. Yeah. Right, these cats are annoying to be honest with you. Anything else is new. That require me remembering what I told you about last time. <laughs> uh, did I have the animal pen finished last time? Did I? Or did I not? I honestly cannot remember. Right, so this is the animal pen. I uh, started getting all the animals in that need to be in there. The only one that's missing is sheep, but they are going underground. Out the way. So we've got pigs. 
cows. Not quite filled them out yet. Gold mm. pen near near. That's three pens of pigs, two pens of cows are filled, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Aye, so all the pig pens are filled. Three of the cow pens are filled, and yeah, I'm to fix that. I've got this wee barrier here to stop you walking out, but it still gives you this view of the place around. Now I've pretty much lit up a lot of this landscape. I've got bunnies, as you can see, there's eight of them skipping about in this pen. I've only got one chicken. Though. And I've got one bunny in here, apparently. For some reason, I've bred them all, those bunnies, and I've not tamed yet. I don't know if they changed the mechanics or not. You can see this lovely leaf roof to the whole place. These are like one of these are easy to get. Super easy to get, and they're see-through as well. Now, what I was thinking though is like, see this roof, see the edge is all leaf. I was going to think I might change it all to oak, dark oak, up there, and do two dark oak pillars up there as well. You know, from the pumpkin there up, just change all those leaf blocks to dark oak. So you've got a rim of dark oak. And pardon me. <sighs> Sorry, tired. And you also got two dark pillars going up the way. And they also do change that going along there. The dark oak pillar beams. And see there as well, change it all along there to a dark oak beam. And dark oak support beams there as well, or instead of leaves. So it's got a nice rim around it, like this bit does. Don't know if that would work or not. But it would mean the choir and harvesting a lot of leaves again. <laughs> I think all the leaves I've already harvested and put up there, I'll have to harvest back again with shears to put in these oak beams or dark oak beams. And you see how I got all these here. Like knock to Oh hello. Are you following me? Oh my god, are you tamed? Uh-huh. Okay. So right I was saying uh knocked out a leaf here, climbed up to the leaf roof. What are you doing? Grab it. And climbed up with a pair of shears and just knocked out every single leaf block I could find along the way. Down to a certain height and then... Is that still following me? No, he's over there. Good. And then I started knocking all off at this height. And just clearing the roof down a bit and down a bit, and eventually I had enough of the leaves to finish the job off. Right, you see, there's plenty more leaves here to go. Ah, yeah, right, that's a second rabbit. I've seen that one there, I thought, my god, he jumped all the way over there. <laughs> right, so I've got plenty of leaves left to harvest to put into the roof if I wanted to expand it or whatever. Mainly because all these big oaks grew. Hmm. So I might be able to expand that wee bit there, you know, like, put a wee bit there, going up and round there. Don't know. But first now, that's complete. Any touch-up operations is afterwards. Right, I wonder if that rabbit's going to follow me. It's awfully dark here. 
Oh my god, what was that? Did you jump off the roof? Did you just jump right off the roof of that? <sighs> Great, now it's raining. So, yeah, I've got to start this dark patch back here, but it's far enough back that when I'm working in the animal pen there, nothing can track me. I'm going to eventually light it up a bit further back. Oh dear lord, where did you come from? Panic lighting, panic lighting. <laughs> That's it. How'd you like a knockback sword? They probably spawn somewhere up in the trees. This is pretty well lit up, so it shouldn't have let them spawn anywhere, but yeah. Came from this direction. There's also somewhere back here they can spawn, or he's climbed across the river. Whatever. This area here will be the manual pumpkin the melon farm. Possibly. <laughs> Might turn out to some sort of farm anyway. Just a quick source of meat for what you need. The animals. Carrots, whatever. <sighs> oh man, I'm super tired for some reason as soon as I put this headset on. Right, so yeah, I think this is over. That was all that's changed since last time. But that's just something I'm quite proud of. I think we have to see if I have to move that pulsar, that sensor though. But it seems to be working fine so far. Pair of diamond boots. Fella falling four or protection three. I just stuck a book in the enchanting table. I said fella falling four. Yeah, I'll go for that. And it gets protection three weight, so awesome. He needs much more armor than that. I think you get to see my beautiful avatar here. Be high. See? You wouldn't be able to see that if I had worn full armor. Yep, see he's a boy. He's nodding yes. Anyway, so that's all the changes for this week. Yep, you got caught up, so see ya uh, next time I record an episode, because I still gotta get there's still lots of plans to do in this world. Not so uh, whatever. I still gotta finish these walkways up here off as well. Oh god, he's not connected that. Nice, I was about to find these walkways off properly. They should have a border to them like the ones outside. So that means I have to cut all this out here and put in a stone slabs around them. Move the slabs around a bit, whatever. But, and technically this can go without support. But, it can't here because it's not connected to the main support pillar, so I'm going to have to put in some support beams, like say fences, just as a support pillar, up and down. I mean, I don't have to, I can sit there all at once and float in mid space air and Minecraft won't be a shit, but it's just to be rules are devised to make things work. Alright, so anyway, see you next time record.